All right. Now we have a decent terrain, but it looks flat. The reason is our ground is just a texture. Now we're going to add some grass or foliage. And uh, so then we can add some nice uh, look. Uh, so how do we get some grass? Right now, open land doesn't have grass, but when you're looking at this uh, tutorial in some time later, we might have some grass, but anyway, there are so many good projects out there in the marketplace, so we can have a look at them. The first one is uh, Open World Demo Collection. This is a quite old one, but this has a lot of cool things, including grass, uh, some trees, quite a lot of rocks and foliage. And, and this is a really interesting project. And just uh, edit your library and install into your project. So this is number one. Other one is foliage and tree collection from the project nature and just search for project nature on on the marketplace and uh, there are so many yeah stuff and then try to try to pick one of few things you like so then you can play around with this all right so this is about how you get some grass and some trees and so on now let's put them into our ground all right so how 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 do we gonna do that in open land it's quite easy to do that so here in the, on the content directory we have a directory called open land and inside that we can go core and now we can see a directory again called grass now we have a few grass types for ground mid slope and top so basically that's our layer so this is ground mid is in between the slope and the ground and the top is this area on the snow right and then how do we add those things so basically it's pretty easy to do that so you open this file currently it looks empty so now we're gonna add something so it will have a view like this so then uh, we need to find some static mesh and put it there we need to download the open world demo collections and then inside your app we, you have a, a directory called kite demo so this is what we're looking at so inside the kite demo uh, search for filters go into, into that and search for filters and then select static mesh so now you can see all the statics measures inside this kite demo directory. So then you can easily add them. So then uh, just scroll and find some grass. I think there's a grass somewhere here. I think here we have some grass. Just select that. All right, then uh, put it here. All right, now we instantly we got some grass. And let's put the player there. All right, it's quite. Uh, so I think I, I might need to like increase the size. Let's say I'm going to increase this to height three um, yeah this looks fine yeah this looks fine let me put the play i think it's too much all right let let's say 1.5 all right now it's good but i think uh, the grass is too much and then let's decrease down to maybe 100 something like this maybe that's too much so this is the density then you can see how much of grass you want Maybe I'll put something around like 200. Yeah, this looks nice. That's the uh, amount of grass I need. So basically you can tweak them uh, as you need. Then we can add a few more. For example, I can duplicate this one or maybe I can add a new one. So in this case, I'm going to put the density quite low and I'm going to add some header type. I'm going to put this, simply click this arrow icon and we can have this. I think this is too much. So let's... Uh, Put the density into somewhere around 0 0.2 all right now we maybe i need to increase it to 0 0.5 this is fun you can see like you can uh put stuff there and play around to get the user and then so this is this is quite nice i mentioned that we can put any sort of like stuff here like not just grass it's any static mesh so that's why we we can put some rocks as well for example, let me add something, uh, not a rock, maybe add something like this. So I might uh, change this to quite low because I don't want to like see them all the places. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I think I need to add that. Now you can see some, uh, yeah, kind of these three structures here and there. And you can easily change the size here, X, Y, and you can re rotate them, randomly rotate them if you don't want that so that's what you do and you can align the surface so this is good for trees so when you are in, inside the hill kind of thing so then uh, they're not aligned the surface but uh, they will just increase on the z direction all right now let's try to add some uh, grass to the 
the mint layer so that means the at the edge so i'm going to show that so basically now I'm, I'm quite closer to edge section between the slope and the rock section and the ground so for that one it's quite easy i'm going to open the mid grass type and i'm going to add a new one so i'll, I'll reduce this to like maybe 10 and i'm going to find some uh, flowers so let me find some flowers oh yeah i think this one yeah this looks good so i'm gonna add it all right now you can see we can see some flowers here and there but i think i, I can increase the the density to something around like 30. yeah i think it's quite small uh maybe i'll hit the size to two all right now we can see some uh flowers here and there maybe i can increase it a little bit more all right now this looks good it's, it blends nicely and yeah that's it so i think this is too much anyway <laughs> so you, you get the idea so we can customize these things as we need all right this is it see you soon with something else